here. The roaming pencil case, the reason they call it that is because it is meant to be a pencil case that roams, quote unquote, from app to app. Any changes that you make in your pencil case um, in Word, for example, as we're about to do, will show up in another app as well once you close the app that you currently have available or open and you open up the new app. So let me just show you a quick example here. First of all, you do have to activate the draw tab. You can see that I have my default tabs up here. So I'm gonna go into file and down to options again, where we were just a second ago. And under my customized ribbon tab, just like um, developer is not uh, checked by default as, as most of you I'm sure know, draw is not either. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that. And that is new to Office 2019 now have the draw tab right here. So you can see my draw tab is now available to me. Um, by default, it comes with three pens, one black, one colored, and then a one highlight. Now you can use these again to annotate on your actual document. So you can see that I can kind of click and drag, uh, circle things. It's similar to the feature that's been available in live PowerPoint for a while, uh, except this is not actually changing my document at all. This is simply me writing on top of it, basically. Uh, they also have a highlighter you can see available, and you can either click and drag around like you're drawing. If you're going across text, it actually tries to bind itself to that text unless you go crazy like I just did here and go way off um, as well. It's, it's dynamic in that fashion. You can change the color. So if I go back here to my pen, you can see that I can change the colors. I've got purple, I've got red, and of course I go to more colors and I get a whole new spectrum. You can also change the thickness. It's available here, you can see. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make my green pen as thick as possible. You can see here that it's a much thicker uh, draw here. You can also, of course, erase anything that you've put on. You can add a pen. This is where the roaming pencil case comes in. So keep in mind that I made the green pen bigger, right? And I'm also going to go ahead and add, let's see, pencil pen highlighter. Let's add a pencil. Uh, let's make it red. And again, if I draw with that, you can see that it draws right on top of my document here. Um, so that's me messing around with the new roaming pencil case. Now, when I close this, if I close Microsoft Word here, and I'm going to go ahead and open up Excel, now, because I've closed the app where I made the changes and I've given you know Office a chance to refresh, when I go into my Draw tab here, you can see that the same pencils have followed me. So this is why they call it the roaming pencil case, is because it's supposed to be something that, again, again roams from app to app to app. So that's the reason why they call it that. A couple features on this. Uh, you have the option to ink to shape. This is a bit more convenient, especially if you're using a stylus, than having to go into the Insert tab and go to Shapes and everything. Instead, you can simply simply draw them out and have Word put it in for you, right? Oh, I didn't actually click the button. Let's try that again. Ink to shape. There you go. So it created a square for me. Um, I'm using a mouse, so you'll have to bear with me that my lines aren't perfectly straight, but I'm just simply drawing shapes and I can go crazy with like a triangle here. Yeah, you can go pretty nuts with these shapes and Word does the best it can to try and conform to what you've done. So that is the ink to shape option. Another fun feature that they have available is the ink to math option. And this is, again, a time saver similar to ink to shape. It used to be that when you were inserting specific symbols um, that are not native on your keyboard, you would have to go again to the insert symbols group and try to bring them up that way. And you'd have to traverse through uh, wing dings and all sorts of different things that were kind of difficult to, to look through. Ink to math helps you to bypass all of that. Ink to math, you can simply draw in what you're looking for and it'll give it to you. So for example, the divide app, uh, excuse me, the divide symbol is not natively available on your keyboard, but I could simply draw it in. As you can see here, it gives me the divide symbol just because I drew it in there. So you could, let's say we're teaching math, uh, you could simply and again, bear with me as I use my mouse here. 30 divided by three equals 10, right? So I'm just creating and drawing out math. Now, if ever it's incorrect up here at the top, for example, it might misconstrue the divide sign as the plus sign. Um, all you have to do is click this select and correct option here click on what you're wanting to correct, and it comes up with a list of what it thinks you might be trying to create. Once you're done, you can simply say insert, and it inserts your 
it looks like it put it into my shape because that's what I had selected. So you can see that it put it right there in the middle of my shape. It inserts to whatever you have selected at the time, which I did. And you can see that it has its own equation tools, contextual tab and everything. So it's basically the math teachers or the math nerds dream here that you can use this uh, new ink tool. So that is the new pens, the new uh, roaming pencil case that they have available. And again, that uh, goes across all of your different apps.